Today, we'll be learning how to read illustrations using a four-step reading process. This is important for examining illustrations such as charts, graphs, or diagrams. Let's get started. We see illustrations every day. For example, while we are watching the morning news, we see weather maps. While reading the financial section of the newspaper, we might see a bar graph displaying the Dow's trends. We may even pay attention to the nutritional label on our favorite breakfast sandwich. At first, reading illustrations may seem like a complex task. You might wonder, where do you begin? Should you read from left to right? Do I need to look at everything? How do you determine what is important? Do I really have to pay attention to all of the information on the illustration? How is this information useful? What is this illustration telling me? Why do I need to know this? How do you read illustrations? I know it may seem complex at first, but using this easy four-step reading process can help you tackle the complexities. We are going to dig a little deeper into each step of the reading process. For each step, I'm going to provide an example illustration that we can analyze together. Let's get started. There are four important steps in the strategy you will learn today. The first step is to scan the title, labels, or notes. This helps to provide an overview of what you are reading. The second step is to determine your topic. Now that you have completed the preview, you need to ask yourself, what is this illustration about? With what knowledge should I walk away? For the third step, you need to determine the purpose or main idea. Why did the author decide to create this illustration? Did the author want to inform you about a subject? Did the author want to entertain or persuade you? Finally, you need to determine the major details. In this step, you will identify any key ideas. Remember the first step was to scan the title, label, or notes. When completing this step of the process, you really need to ask yourself three important questions. What is the title of the illustration? This will help you learn the topic of the illustration. You also need to think about what information is presented in the labels. Remember, the labels are usually written on the X or Y axis. The labels explain what each line, mark, or section represents. Think back for a moment. The x-axis runs horizontally, left to right, and the y-axis is vertical, running up and down. Finally, ask yourself, are there any notes on the illustrations? You may overlook this section, but writers often include brief explanations for different aspects of the illustrations. Let's look more closely at this step with an example. Take a few moments to scan this illustration. What is the title? What do the labels reveal? Are there any notes? You should notice that the title at the top of the illustration states school nurses trained by year. The x-axis, which runs horizontally, tells us the number of nurses trained and the y-axis informs us about the years or time period covered. If you look closely at this illustration, you will see the author did not provide notes. Step two is to determine the topic. After scanning the illustration title, ask yourself, 
What is the illustration about? If you think about it, this illustration determines the number of school nurses trained within an organization. In this step, you must determine the purpose or main idea. Take a few moments and scan the illustration. I want to point out the number of times we have reread the illustration. Rereading is a key strategy for thorough analysis. Thinking about the information from the title as well as the X and Y axis, we can tell this illustration determines the number of school nurses trained within an organization. This information is displayed by the number trained per year. What are the important details on the illustration? Once again, take a few moments and scan the illustration. Now ask yourself the following questions. Why did the author create this illustration? What facts did the author provide? How could these facts be utilized? I'll give you a few moments. If you think back to all the information presented in the title and on the X and Y axis, you can tell the illustration describes the number of nurses trained in an organization by year. The chart reveals that the number of nurses trained varied throughout a five-year period. For instance, in 2000, approximately 55 nurses were trained, yet 80 nurses were trained in 2002. Is practice time? Now that we have finished reviewing this presentation, please go back to your module and complete the practice exercises. If you feel that you need additional assistance, you can select to review the presentation again.